42 days. And we know we will do it. And, and this is going to be a very tight race until the very end. And Michigan, let us be clear, contrary to what my opponent is suggesting, I will never tell you what kind of car you have to drive. But here's what I will do. I will invest in communities like Flint. Flint, which helped build the auto industry and the UAW. We will retool existing factories, hire locally, and work with unions to create good-paying jobs, including jobs that do not require a college degree. So Donald Trump makes big promises, and he always fails to deliver. He said he was the only one who could bring back America's manufacturing jobs. Remember that? And then America lost nearly 200,000 manufacturing jobs when he was president, including, including tens of thousands of jobs in Michigan. And those losses started before the pandemic making Donald Trump one of the biggest losers of manufacturing jobs in American history. So two days ago, Donald Trump's running mate suggested that if Trump wins, he might let the Grand River Assembly plant in Lansing close down. The same plant that our administration helped save earlier this year, along with 650 union jobs. <laughs> Michigan, we together fought hard for those jobs, and you deserve a president who won't put them at risk. we are witnessing a full-on assault on other hard-fought, hard-won freedoms and rights, like the freedom to vote, the freedom to be safe from gun violence, the freedom to join a union, the freedom to love who you love openly and with pride, and the freedom to breathe clean air and drink clean water. Flint, you know all too well, Flint, that clean water should be a right for everyone, not just for the people who can afford it. And as president, I will continue to work with communities like Flint to ensure you not only have clean water, but the opportunity to recover economically and thrive.